It's me, Mario! Hello! Welcome back, and today we'll be starting a new episode, or a new game of Mario 64. And um, in this in this series, we're going to be going to 120 stars. As you can see, this is my original, or not my original, but my second time through right there at 120 stars. We're going to go by painting, and we're going to be doing all six stars, uh, or seven, depending on how many is in each world, um, all the way up to 120. So okay. you'll be able to see all of them. Also with this game as well, uh, I'm probably only going to be posting this game every few days, so two to three days. Uh, it won't be an everyday thing like uh, some of the other RPGs, but uh, it'll definitely be a good little change of pace and um, getting some of these uh, pictures and frames and all the secret stars and all that stuff in. It'll be a lot of fun, so we'll get right into it here as soon as I come up out of the pipe. Ciao! You've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. Press B to jump and Y to attack. Now, if you're wondering about my uh, controls here, I am using the Switch version 3D All-Stars. Uh, so that's where all the uh, different uh, controls will be. So this is not the Nintendo 64 version. Uh, press A to read signs too. Use the left stick to move Mario around. Now, hit the castle. Alright, and so that's... Just checking all the, uh... Now, I don't know if you're aware or not, but... You can come over to one of these trees and you can get you an extra life right off the bat. Alright. And there's another one on the other side of the castle as well, free life, but... Good afternoon, the Lakita Bros here, reporting live from just outside the princess's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene, and we'll be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As seasoned cameramen, we'll be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle with the right thumbstick. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz and take a look at the surroundings. Stop, and to take a look at the surroundings, stop and tilt the right thumbstick forward. Press B to resume play. Switch camera modes with R. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lakita Bros. Alright. So let's get right to it. Welcome, no one's home. Now scram and don't come back. Alright, and the first toad is right here. Am I glad to see you, the princess, and I, and well, everybody. We're all trapped inside the castle walls. Bowser has stolen the castle stars, and he's using the power to create his own world in the paintings and walls. Please recover the power stars as you find them. You can use their power to open the doors that Bowser has sealed. There are four rooms on the first floor. Start in the one, uh, one with the painting of Babam inside. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. The princess must be inside. All right, so let's get to saving the princess now. Go in here to the Babam, and we're gonna jump into the painting. Babam battlefield, big Babam on the summit. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power star that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the Babam buddy. Press A to talk. He certainly, he'll certainly help you out and so will his comrades in other areas. To read signs, stop facing, stop, face them and press A. Press the A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing A. So these are the Babam buddies, the pink ones, and um, I'm not going to talk to them right now because uh, they won't be able to do anything right now. And um, not until, like, I think it's the next one or two missions before they'll be able to help. But we're just going to run on by the chain chomp. There is a star over there behind the cage. 
and we're just going to run all the way to the top of the uh, mountain here. And you can hop in here and take a little teleporter. Or you can keep running all the way around either or. I'm the big babam, lord of all blasting matters, king of kabooms the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountaintop? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me this to this royal turf? I think that you cannot. Alright, so let's get right to it. First things first, because uh, you know you want to see it, I'm going to throw him off the mountain. I know it does nothing, but why not? Bye bye. Uh, you must fight with honor. It is against the ro royal rules to throw the king out of the ring. Oh yeah, I just did. <laughs> so we'll get behind him and we'll actually just toss him. You just gotta throw him onto the grass three times. Three is the magic number in this game. And you'll beat him. What? Can it be? How can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the Babam King? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here is your star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select this star from the menu. For now, farewell. And there's our first star. So, let's go on and get it and get out of here. Alright, let's just go on and save. You've recovered the stolen power star. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor. And the room with the painting of Womp's fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for the stars. Alright, instead of doing that, we're going to go right back into this world and go for star number two. Foot race with Koopa the Quick. All right, so first thing, we can actually get the uh, the cannon now. We're peace-loving Babams, so we don't use the cannons. But if you like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all the ca cannons in the course for you to use. Boing voyage. There we go. Ready for blast off. Come on, hop into the cannon. You can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use the left stick to aim and beat a fire. If you're if you're handy, you can grab onto the trees or poles to land. All right, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna race Koopa right here. Hey Mario, is it true that you beat the big Babam? Cool. You must be uh, you must be strong and pretty fast. So how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me, Koopa the Quick? I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the mountaintop, where the big bomb was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? Go! And here we go. So we're going right back up to where the ki uh, King Babam was in this one. We just have to beat Koopa up there. And Chain Chomp doesn't make that easier, but it's also not that hard. Pretty easy to beat Koopa. He is a. Uh, oh, oh, if I don't get myself killed. He comes up that hill right there. We're 
we'll just run around this time. Hopefully I won't fall. <laughs> And the heart here actually heals you, so. So if you ever have a problem and there's a heart on the course somewhere, just go hit the heart. Alright. And there we go, we've won. We just have to wait on Koopa to show up. There he is, right there. Come on, Koopa. Whoa, you really are fast. A human blur. Here you go. You've won it, fair and square. Alright, star number two. Here we go. And right back in. Shoot to the island in the sky. Alright, so if you remember what the pink bob said, we have to use the cannons to get up to the island in the sky. And as you can see, there it is, right there. But we're not going to be shooting towards it yet, we're going to shoot towards a closer cannon. Now I still per I personally like going from the cannon up on the mountaintop, but this one will work right here. So we just aim up here. You can kind of see the top of the tree. Let's see, can I get it right where it needs to be? Yep, right there. Now let's shoot right about there. I'll probably go over it, but yep. Oh no. Okay. Well, at least we're up here, and I can use the uh, cannon right here. Alright, so you can see the tree, you just shoot towards the tree, and you should hit the tree, as long as you don't shoot over it like I'm probably going to do. Alright, now that we're up here, this box right here is what we're going for, and that's star number three. You've recovered three power stars. Now you can open any door with a three on it is on its star. You can come and go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. Alright, back into the Babam world. Find the eight red coins. Alright, so now if this is not obvious, we're looking for red coins, and there are eight of them. So as you can see, there's one right there at the top of this elevator. So we'll jump over and just grab it real quick. Just like that. There's another one there. So we're already well on our way to eight with two. And the next one is on top of Chain Chomp's uh, post. Oop. Now there's one down here as well, along with the life, and hopefully I don't get hit by the bomb. But... Alright, grab that life. Don't really need the lives, but yeah, they're nice to get, I guess. If you do have an accidental slip up, you can always get them there. Alright, now we got one right up there as well. So let's see, how can I do I think it's, you can jump, nope, alright, so you can crawl up this hill though, so that's what I'm going to do. A little slow, but it's probably the easiest way to get this one.
All right, three more to go. Unfortunate. Well, go in the hole. Alright, so I shot almost straight up because I wanted to come up on the mountain. So I could get over here to the cannon. Because we're going to go back out onto the island because there's one more red coin right there. And as you can see, there's the last two over there, actually right next to where we need to be going. When you find the red coins in each map, they will be, uh, there's also going to be this uh, see-through star on the ground, and that's where the star will actually appear. Back in we go. Mario wings to the sky. So this one here we're actually going to be skipping. Instead we're going to be doing a chain chomp. Uh, the chain chomp uh, star. I don't remember exactly what it's called. And the reason we're doing this is because uh, you kind of need the wing hat before you can do this one efficiently. So what you do is you go right here and you and you have to pound on this uh, post to release chain chop. All right, just don't die when doing it. <laughs> and coins will give you health back if you need it. So. Well, man. Alright, let me run over here and get some health because uh, if not, Chain Chomp is gonna take me out. And these uh, camera angles by the Lakita brothers are terrible. They're just not working in my favor at all. There we go. Alright, got it. So now Chain Chomp's gonna start bouncing around. He's gonna bust into that cage and open the star for us. Alright. Here we go! Alright, and there's star number five. Let's see if we can get the uh, flying cap yet. I don't think we can quite yet, but yep, we can't quite do it yet. So that's where we're actually going to end it for today, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're going to enjoy Super Mario 64, and I'll be back with the next one. Peace.